Holy sh Dude, you flew, flew by me so quick, yeah, I just about caught it. <laughs> but it was a proper fast flyby. Welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Waj. If you don't know already, I run a page called Speed Fever and today I've got my amazing S2000 out because we're enjoying the British summer weather. Uh, I gave it a nice clean so you can see it's all nice and shiny. Let's walk you all the way to the back. Nice and clean. Anyways, I'm in Woking somewhere in Surrey today and we're going to be filming a Golf R which belongs to a family friend of mine. When you guys are ready, I'm going to introduce him. Hey guys, this Hello. is Salman. <laughs> Uh, how you guys <laughs> Is that how you say it? <laughs> I just realised I'm repping the wrong YouTube channel. <laughs> hey, we don't have no problems here, yeah. man. How you doing today? Yeah, I'm good, man. Thank All you. All right, so you drive a Golf R, right? Yep, it's a Mark 6 Golf R. Mark 6 Golf R. You like it? I love it. I've had it since I was 21. I'm 24 now. And um, I've had it tuned stage one slash stage two. I've got a downpipe. I don't think I've ever really gotten bored of it since I've had it tuned. You always want more power. I think because it's all-wheel drive, it puts it down well. You always want more power, but I, you, can't get, you can't actually get bored. Are you looking to push it more? I'll probably buy something new in the next year or two. So I'm just on the fence of whether I should invest that money into it or not, because I don't think I'll get that back. Fair enough, so. guys. I'm going to show you the Golf R right now. Here we go. Look at that. So clean, nice blacked out emblems, grill. Looks really clean, you know. I'm excited to hop in with you and uh, let's go for a spin. Wow, it looks so good. <laughs> yeah, I think, <laughs> cause it's been cleaned, it's all right, but. Do you want to give us oh, a start? on camera? Yeah, let's oh, go. Shit, it is warm, by the way. Right, let's jump in. Oh 
Holy s**t! Holy s**t! Therefore, track no. Um, I think they're like a street, like a fast street compound. But I think the red one is for track. I'm not too sure. Um, oh, all right. Yeah. I'm glad you got good brakes then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Dude, you flew flew by me so quick. Yeah, I just about caught it. <laughs> but it was a proper fast flyby. That part of the road is like a racetrack. Oh, I'm literally sweating and I, I'm not even driving. So I'm guessing you love driving this. Yeah, I think it's, it's one of those things where you, sometimes you get used to it. But then if you don't drive it for like a week or you drive something else a couple of times, like now we've got the MX-5, you drive that a couple of times, you sit back in this and it's like, oh my gosh. Hell yeah, every car guy's dream. <laughs> it's completely silent as soon as you get out. Because <laughs> it pulls, like, it, like, I think because it's a turbo as well. Um, and obviously I haven't really been in that many faster cars. I've been in a GTR once, Osman's M3. Apart from that, I haven't been in anything like super fast. Where it's been so long since I sat in Osman's M3, this is almost like the fastest car I've ever been in because I've forgotten how fast that was. That um, M3 was faster because I remember you took me for a drive once and <laughs> I was literally shitting it. Yeah. But I don't know, this, the thing is, you keep saying this is 310 brake horsepower. This does not feel like 310. <laughs> you know that 140i that I, I drove? Yeah. That 140i was 370, 380 brake horsepower, right? Yeah. This feels quicker. This feels quicker? This feels way quicker. No, maybe I had a bad day, maybe just having a good day. <laughs> I don't even think it was stage one, I think it was just like the, the exhaust was what that was it. Then it probably was a 370 even. Unless it had a tune. I don't know. It does have a tune, but I, maybe we've got the numbers wrong, I don't know. Oh. Oh yeah, here's a question. Have you yeah. drifted the MX5 here? I've tried to do a donut. If you if you flick it enough. You can get the back out, it just doesn't have enough power to sustain anything. <laughs> yeah, they don't. Okay, maybe maybe we can take the MX-5 out one day. <laughs> Bro, you sit so far back, so I know it's difficult to fucking you know, <laughs> My dad always cusses me on this, you know what it is. When I got the car, it was rolled back and it was my first time in a performance car oh, so okay. I just thought this is how the seats are <laughs> and now I'm used to it so you never you didn't think I oh, let me adjust it to where I find yeah it no I, I just sat in there and I was like because it was low <laughs> as well isn't it so it was low and it was rolled back and I was like okay so this is just how you sit in these so I just rolled it forward as much as I needed and then the rest is history isn't it it, it feels like a normal car right yeah now. Like, in, in, in just normal drive mode yeah. you'll find that so if you put it into like sport okay so left and then you downshift and it will start Maybe downshift pulling it. it can be a bit jittery sometimes <laughs> dude it's it's very like on like it's ready to yeah, go yeah, yeah. that's what i keep saying to you it feels faster than the than the one for the i drive it honestly does is it like i or think or it must be the, the the power band it's it's 310 but it's almost always at 310. yeah 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 because you, you know said it? it's like at peak yeah. performance dude yeah so so when it was stock it was like 287 yeah but that 287 lasted for about 200 rpm how does it feel in the passenger side scary <laughs> but that's more the anxiety for the car i think <laughs> no, no, i'm gonna be careful because it is a bit like yeah I'm let me just show you guys the rest this is fairly open compared to what we just came through Passing cars, they give me anxiety even when I'm driving. So it will go this way. Yeah. I don't know why you gave her away. <laughs> because I'm cruising anyway. Yeah, so. fair enough. Unless you want me to. <laughs> <laughs> so why are you shitting me? No, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. It's definitely quick, man. You know what? I feel like it's a lot scarier on that side. This side, now that I'm yeah, here, it was, I feel like, seat, it? Yeah, I feel like it's a lot more composed. So, okay, here's the question. 
which is good because you don't actually want to pop and bang off them because yeah. it's not good for your turbo. Oh. Yeah, I think it can, it can basically melt through the seals if you do it too much. Yeah, Damn. yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. into anything more than second gear so I think we've uh, RIP the car today yeah. if I mean if something has gone wrong with the clutch or the gearbox then I guess I'm gonna hold on to the car for a little bit longer and then stage two plus here we go <laughs> hey look you always gotta look at the positives and negative situation right guys so that is Salman's Golf R uh, stage two right stage two slash 1.5 slash 1.5 yeah it was it was great being sat next to him going around all these country roads i thought it was fun i thought it was completely different because i didn't expect that from a golf r especially the mark 7 versions mark 6 sorry this is the mark 6 yeah so it really has changed my view on the golf r would i get one i don't know i don't know it's a tough one i'd love to experience the new mark 8 though i think they might be a bit bit more interesting uh, in the sense because they have so, more power. What I've, what I've heard from people who had Mark 6s and Mark 7s is that the Mark 7s are a bit too refined. Oh, okay. So you, they're, they're not as fun. They're not as raw, basically. I mean, these aren't really exactly raw, but I think the Mark 7s are even less even more comfortable and like sound oh. dead and whatnot. But I'll, I don't know, never driven one. That, would, that yeah. would come with the, them developing it more, yeah. isn't it? But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know if there's anything else you want to see or you want me to change up in the videos and I can try and do that but I'll hopefully see you guys in the next video until then take care